what's up everybody, it's Rick and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Uh, last episode I said that we were going to make some changes this episode and you can see that I made a ginormous exhibit here for all of our blended animals, but bad news, in the process, uh, things went wrong. Um, for some reason my keepers couldn't find their way into this exhibit and animals began to starve and die. It was terrible. But um, we're going to turn this terrible news into good news because we are moving the base of operations of uh, Jurassic Park over to Gilbert Farms. This is the save file that I've been playing around with in my free time. Habitat cleanliness is at risk. Excuse me. Uh, time to call a keeper. Go fix that up. So here's the uh, new zoo where we're going to be building off of, guys. And... Uh, Gembok happened. I know, I know, I know that it's not clean. I wish that once I got a notification and I clicked it, that it would go away. I hate that it just hangs around up there until it gets taken care of. But you know what? That's a minor gripe, okay? So, here we go. Uh, we've got some good exhibits going off. I've got my Gembok exhibit. I've got my, uh, Okapi exhibit. I've got my Bongo exhibit. These are like cute little deer things. The one thing I will say about all these little cute little deer animals is that they're finicky as all get out. They get stressed very easily. I want to try to get the one-way glass and in order to do that, I'm doing some research with my mechanics right now. Uh, barriers. Once I get to barrier research, it's all the way barrier research 5, so it's really blocked over there, but once I get to that, then we should be able to uh, get one-way glass which will help keep uh, the animals a little bit more under control because right now they are freaking the heck out and in addition i've got this exhibit here the dogs exhibit and way down here is my blended habitat so this is where all of the animals that can live together are living together right now water treatment plant is failing let's get a mechanic out there right now and speaking of our mechanics let's take a look and see what kind of uh, help we've got right now because this zoo is actually growing pretty big and at the moment i have three caretakers four keepers uh i've got two mechanics uh one security guard a bunch of vendors and one vet i should probably hire a few more people um by the way come on go clean this habitat where is this person that i just paged damn it uh if i actually try to look at the keeper let's see um i know that there's a way to see the keeper that i paged let's see where the heck are you Usually there is. Usually I could... Like, if I wanted to see... This, for example. Uh, keeper being... Well, no, there is a way to see where they are. Well, no wonder. It says the last time this keeper came was three months ago, but I'm calling keepers every month. That... Wait a minute. Keeper every month. Last time since visit. Three months. Excuse me. If I look at my zones real quick... Let's see. My work zones right now. So I've made a central keeper zone which is right here. So they, we've got a keeper just taking care of this. I've made a, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a frog in my throat, a Western keeper zone, and I made a central, oh my God. How is this not in the Western keeper zone? No freaking wonder, there we go. Now it's actually in the zone. Jeez, that, that habitat wasn't even in the zone. No freaking wonder it hasn't been cleaned. Yeah, let's get that cleaned up. Uh, and let's see here, I've got, Ooh, some people competing for uh, alpha status, the warthogs. Okay, so I must add a male warthog that's all grown up. Let's take a look at that warthog real quick. If I see here, uh, my warthogs, animals, and yeah, I've got two males right now. So if I zoom in on my males. Okay, so there's one male. Right here, we've got Faraji. Faraji, you have some pretty good stats. Where is the other male right now that's in this habitat? Let's see. Take a look at my males. My common warthog males. Where are you? Okay, so we looked at Faraji. We're going to look at Masood. Masood over here. At least you guys are keeping your distance. I appreciate that. Okay, Masood, um, your stats are a little bit better than Faraji's. So, Faraji, I'm going to actually send you away. All right, we're going to release you into the wild. And I can actually do that just right from here. Release animal to the wild. There we go. Boom. Release ya. Got 20 conservation points. And now I'm going to keep the peace in this exhibit a little bit. Uh, what else do we got here? Gemsbach is hungry. Yeah, okay. They are getting fed, hopefully, now. Now that I've allowed them to be fed. Where is my keeper at? 
Keeper, keeper, keeper. Okay, yeah, they must be getting fed because the gems box are getting happy. Perfect. Okay, so that should be getting taken care of. Uh, lastly, let's see. Where the heck are you being taken care of or not? Jeez, where's... Uh, driving me a little bit bananas. There we go. This is why I couldn't locate the keeper because there literally wasn't a keeper that was assigned to it before. Okay, here we go. The keeper is chopping up food right now, getting things ready. Trying to get in here. There we go. Ah, there we go. So the keepers actually have to prepare the food. So they actually have to chop it up, make it, and then get it over there. So when you call a keeper and you're like, why aren't you coming? Because they literally have to prepare the food. There we go. But he is running over there. He understands that he's on the clock. Time is of the essence. Running in there. Going to feed him up. Fantastic. All right. So, we spent quite a bit of time getting things organized here, but now that things are organized, let's talk about what we can do in this park now, all right? So, I have managed to transfer some animals from my old park to my new park, which is something that you can do. It's super cool. I'm going to pause the game real quick and go into my animal trading. And in my animal storage, I've got some tapers right here. These tapers are currently in the animal trading center in Jurassic Park. But I can take these animals and I can transfer them to uh, Filbert Farms, which is what we're going to do here. And I've cleared out this area, which is going to be the new taper area. I'm going to just level this out real quick. Let's see. Um, there we go. Level you out because this area isn't quite level. And you know what? It would help if I was using the short grass so I can match this. There we go. Make this a little bit bigger. Make this a lot a bit stronger. There we go. Level that out because that was not cool. Oh, and let's talk some uh, little quality of life changes here. I made these boxes, which I'm covering up my uh, water and power with because the water and power are just unsightly looking. So there we go. I made those boxes so that people don't have to stare at those. They're still going to complain if they're close enough, but you know, it's more for me to make it look better. All right, let's start to make some barriers now. Barrier time. And yes, our taper exhibit's going to be over here. Let's go ahead and do the full 20 meters and start to place these down. I'm going to make a path going around this way. So let's start to actually, let's make this shorter. Let's make this 10 meters. There we go. And let's make the first wall over here for now. And now we can start to curve them because like we've discovered in the past, for whatever reason, the first wall doesn't like to curve. So the second wall has to be the curvy one, but this one is not going to curve either because the curve just isn't going to match what we need. Look, can we go 13 meters and still make it 13? Excuse me. There we go. Yes, 13 is going to be perfect, actually. And now we can curve. Actually, no, we can't curve. Damn it. I really wish that it would just curve the other way. You know what I mean? Okay, we're going to make you shorter. Quite a bit shorter. There we go. Now curve. Okay, there we go. Now it's curving the proper way. All right, we're going to curve it around. Like so, and... Oh, that's too far. We are not going to go up there. Uh-uh. No, we can start to curve it around this way. That, that'd be fine. Curve it around like this. And like this. And how much space do tapers need? So, some of you guys have been very helpful in the comments, actually. Some of you guys have been telling me um, where I can find out some of this information. And in the Zoopedia, there's tons of information about the animals that is really, really helpful. Uh, one of those bits of information... What? Cannot connect to franchise server. Excuse me. Um, this happened to me the other day too, which is super annoying. Because I can't even save the game if it's not connected to the franchise server. And I know I'm online, so this is a real annoying bug in this game. All right, so there's our exhibit, and now we're going to start to put our tapers in here. But first, we're going to need a door. So let's get our barrier. I'm going to stick our barrier... We'll do a barrier right here. That's fine. Okay, barrier right there, and tapers, here we come. Let's go into animal trading and nab those little tapers. So I've got three tapers. One of them is a baby. The baby can't hang around for too long. Once that baby grows up, then somebody's going to have to go because the tapers, they like to just be in pairs. They don't like to be uh, in groups of more than two. One male, one female. Information, by the way, that I learned from the Zoopedia. Okay, so let's plop you guys in here. So we've got delivery scheduled now. And I've got some warnings here. My Gems box are hungry. Go. F <laughs> I'm getting so irritated right now that my Gems box are always freaking hungry. 
Let's... Okay, there we go. He's finally feeding them. Thank goodness. Okay. Feed all those Gemsbox. They're... They're... They're dying of hunger, man. They need to be fed. All right. And once these uh, tapers get in here, then we'll check out, see what the tapers need. And also, it's still dirty. Um, I'm going to send another keeper over here, honestly. Because this is getting ridiculous. And I think I could probably afford to hire another keeper at this point And just have, like... So many keepers right now. Um, it's sort of demanding that I have a keeper for like... Right now, the way I've got the keeper set up. So once again, looking at our help, I have four keepers. I believe what I've got is two keepers on this shared space. Because there's so many animals. Then I've got uh, one keeper in this middle spot. And then I've got one keeper for both of these exhibits. And honestly, I should probably have like one keeper for this exhibit. One keeper for this exhibit. And then one for the center. Two for here. All right. And maybe I'll split the time between the two in here and here. Anyway, we're going to hire ourselves one more keeper because this is just starting to get ridiculous. Keeper. There we go. And, I mean, the fact is that the Gemswalk haven't been properly getting fed and cleaned for a minute. So, that's on me. <laughs> that's on me. Let's go ahead and get one more work zone created. I'm going to create this. It's going to be called just... Gemsbok, okay? So we've created a Gemsbok zone, and there we go. It's just simply this zone and this keeper hut, this, uh, what is it? The, uh, 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 uh the, 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 the staff room. That's what I'm looking for. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay. And then you guys can go over here as well. These, these are shared zones too that you are allowed to go to. Okay. So that's going to be just Gemsbok. And with that being said, let's go ahead and put one of my keepers on just Gemsbok. So, staff, the keeper that was in the western zone, I'm going to guess make you um, Gemsbok. There we go. Which means that now the one that is currently called western zone, that's fine. They can split their time between the two. That's fine. Um, there we go. Let's go ahead and get things going again. And I think that the animals, yes, are finally getting fed because there's only one warning now. And then hopefully they'll clean that stupid habitat next. Now there's two warnings. Because, oh my god, low welfare, of course. Because you're probably getting stressed out because this place is filthy. All right. Okay. Finally, it looks like they've cleaned the habitat. Thank goodness. Now we can just start to worry about our tapers. All right. Tapers are coming in. Perfect. Tapers in. Now let's take a look at the Zoopedia. So if I go to the Zoopedia, we can actually learn quite a bit about these guys. So right here, their social group size is one to two, one male and one female. Um, and life expectancy, let's see, recreation, humans, they're shy. Can guests enter the habitat? No. Guests can enter habitats? That's new to me. I, I've never really known that. Um, and there's, there we go, natural habitat. So... They need 430 square meters. Uh, they need some water. And no climbing is required. Okay. And they need 3.3 feet. Why is 3.3 feet? If everything is measured in meters, why is this in feet? That doesn't make sense. Anyway. Is this 3 feet? It's got to be. Yes. it's It's got to be like... It's two meters. That is that is six feet. That is that is plenty high enough. Okay. And how do I tell how big the exhibit is? Like, if I just click on this, will it tell me how big this is? If I go terrain, um, land area, it's thirty nine hundred square meters. And how much how how much space did they need? Let's remind ourselves one more time because I think that that's way bigger than what they actually needed. So. They only need 430 meters squared. So this is way bigger than what they need. I could actually split this in half, and this would still be fine. And I think that's what we're going to do, is we're going to split this thing in half, all right? Uh, if I were to go barriers, and yeah, let's go big. And I'm just going to divide this thing right in half, since these little guys don't need all of this space. Come on. Oh, my God. This didn't even connect. Sometimes these walls do not want to play by the rules. There we go. So I divided that in half, which means that I'm going to need to put down another door over here, which is fine. We'll just do a 
barrier door right here, and then we're gonna need to do a path. Um, excuse me, come on. Come, oh my god. It's in like the worst space ever. Oh, I saw you wanting to go over there. See, you keep on just for a second, you go over there. It's trying to connect to the path up here, which is dumb. Of course you can't connect to the path up there. You know what? Screw it. Let's go this way. Um, oh, you know what? And it's also very long, which is probably why it's being down. There we go. All right, sometimes this is user error. Most of the time, it's user error. There we go. Finally, get over here. Thank you. There, finally. Okay, we got a walkway. We've got a new exhibit. With that being said, how big is this exhibit now? This one is... It's still plenty big, so the tapers have plenty of space. Okay, there we go. Actually, they have too much space. Damn it, Rick. Ah, we're gonna perfect this. I'm looking at this, and it is not divided properly. So let's go barriers last time. And we're going to stretch this barrier. We'll go a little bit diagonal here. And... There we go. Okay. That's better. That That's that's more proper. Now let's just go ahead and make sure that the terrain's looking good for these guys. It is not. This terrain is not what they want at all. They've got uh, way too much short grass. They need way more soil. Let's get them that soil real quick. Do, do, do. Soil, soil, soil. We're going to go light soil and start to replace the short grass. You know, I should probably keep time running at this point because I want to make sure that our mechanics are studying things. Okay, so I've got soil now. Soil's looking good. Uh, we're going to need a little bit of rock. So let's go ahead and we'll go over to smooth rock and give them some hills made of smooth rock, baby. Like some Kenny Loggins here. Some smooth rock. And we're going to need water as well. Um... Let's make sure that this is in the water zone. It should be. Oh, yeah. Obviously, it is. We've got the water purifier right there. So, that's clearly in the water zone. So, let's go ahead and give this some water. Let's do... You know what? We'll do the water area over here. Up oh, fighting dude. Incorrect sex ratio in my Okapi exhibit. One of these Okapis must have matured. So, now they's fighting. And we can actually see... I'm pretty sure Okapi are also like the tapers. And they just want to be one male and one female. Uh, and that is exactly what they want. So right now they've got either too many females or too many males. So let's see what the situation is here. If I go to... Uh, oh, yeah, that's that's shared. Excuse me. That barrier right there. There we go. If I look at my O copies, we have too many males at the moment. Okay. So we've got one right here. The Oladele. It, uh, zero fertility. That is not good. Okay. Oh... Odadele, you are not very good. We're going to um, release you into the wild, which is probably bad. You're going to spread that infertility gene. Actually, no, you're not, because you can't have babies. So never mind. That's going to be fine. We're just going to let you go spend the rest of your days out there in the wild, all right? So there we go. That that problem has been handled. Fighting, it's, it still says fighting due to... Oh, because we've got another fight going on. Who is this? This is the... Oh, my ostriches are fighting now. Okay, so now we got to babysit the ostriches. Let's go find out what the hell the ostriches need. Ostriches. Right now... Oh, my God. We have so many freaking ostriches at the moment. Let's go ahead and take a look at what my ostriches need, huh? Let's just uh, go and check in on you right here. Oh, you're one of the ones who are fighting. Look at this fight that's happening. My God. Look at this. This is amazing. Oh, it's terrifying and amazing. But if I check out what these guys need, as far as their blend goes, let's see what kind of animal blend we need here. Zoopedia, open. Thank you. Okay. So, one male up to seven females. There are eight uh, in total. Uh, how many uh, do I have at the moment? So, Bayo's the current mate here. And it looks like Majani doesn't have... Wait a minute. Is this a male and a female that are fighting? It is. Interesting. Okay. So, your stats are pretty... Whoa, your fertility is off the freaking charts there. Uh, wow, so is yours. And we got a lot of babies. So, I feel like it's easier just to look at this and see what we've got as far as our species breakdown goes. Uh, let's 
go common ostrich. There we go. Filter out that way. So right now we have entirely too many males. And honestly, entirely too many ostriches. I'm going to give them contraception at the moment. There we go. I don't want them breeding anymore. We can always undo the contraception. Stop giving them contraception. Uh, but for right now, we're going to transfer some of these guys out of here. Let's go ahead and we've already seen Marjani. Let's go see what Khaldun's deal is. Um, wait. Oh, no, I'm sorry. We haven't seen Mar Johnny. We saw Bakari. Excuse me. Let's see. I wish it would remember the filter. Just remember the filter, please. Thank you. I don't want to have to do this every single time. So, Khaldun. All right, Khaldun. We can actually look at you. Um, wow, like everybody's fertility is amazing. Jelani. And, okay. We've got little babies, too. Uh, Bakari. Okay, so Bakari. We've seen you. Your stats are great. I guess we got to get rid of one of these. Jelani. Your stats are probably the weakest out of the group. So, I'm going to get rid of Khaldun. All right, Khaldun, I'm going to send you away. All right, Khaldun. There we go. Release you into the wild. And we're going to go and release one more male into the wild. Common ostrich. Oh, I should look at age, too. Some of you guys were telling me, look at age. And I should definitely let age be a deciding factor on which males I release. So, Bakari, you're going to stick around. Jelani, you're the oldest. We're going to send you away, all right? You're going to go and live in the wild. There we go. Okay. So, that should help right now. Some of these babies are going to grow up, obviously. So we're going to need to keep an eye on that as they do once they mature. Okay, now we can go back to helping out our little tapers over here.